Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a number of different ways that you can use the darker color blend mode. So first of all, we're going to put in a fill layer here. So we'll go to layer, new fill layer, and uh, you can play with the color, but let's just leave it red for the moment because we're just going to go to darker color. And what we find is that if we just move this around the circle, not even changing here, just changing the hue, you're changing how much is being selected or blocked out. And if you look at it, it kind of makes sense, because if you go to yellow, yellow is the lightest colour, so very little of it is yellow. And if you go around then to blue, blue is the darkest colour, so it's going to basically take over most of it. So you then can just play around saying, I'd like a bit of this somewhere. And you just play it till it selects anything, anything, that's anything but that's not red in this case, what you'd like to, to pick out and go, that will do from that. Then I'm going to go to layer and merge visible to give me this layer here. Then the fill layer I can hide or I can just delete it because I don't need it really anymore. And then from this layer here, I want to get rid of the red. So a simple way to do that is to go to select and select sample color. Click in here and you can play with the tolerance, but by and large, because it's all the same color, it's going to be dead easy. And then you just want to delete it. So you apply that, then hit delete and it deletes that. So if I take the bottom layer off, you can see that's all I've selected. Control D gets rid of the marching ants. And you can say I've got a layer now with just this on, which you can use in all sorts of ways. Um, for example, if I just go to blend modes again, if I go down the dark and blends, it's going to make the those darker areas darker. And if I go to the light and blends, it's going to make them lighter. So you can, for example, lighten up the shadow areas. Anyway, there you go, that's one way of doing things. Another way of doing things, let's put actually put in a, another fill layer. So layer, new fill layer. And uh, I'm going to put this to darker colour. But what I'm going to do is turn the opacity way, way, way down. So it's literally, you know, 10% or something like that. And now you've got a little bit of a tint to it. So it's another way of tinting picture. You can again say turn it around here and you're going to get different things. You can as well as go inside here, but by and large it's the overall hue that's going to make the biggest difference. Very, very simple way of doing a tint. I know there's lots of other ways. Um, here's another one. Let's do to brighten up the shadows and so on. Let's do a control J twice. Uh, and put in a fill layer, new, where is it, new fill layer, I'll make this one grey, and then do a darker colour on that, and what you get if this is mid grey, you get this grey coming up here, so it's basically darkened out, I saw today, the, the grey layer is where the priority is for the uh, light colours. So if I shift click the next one here and control G to group it, because I've got this grey on it, I can now do an overlay on this and it will then make that effectively invisible. So I'm doing an overlay only on those bits that the grey has not chosen. Uh, if I take the fill layer again, and if I play with this, you see I can have different effects within the picture itself. So that's another way of playing around with it. Another thing you can do is let's do a, just put a glow on. So I go to live filters, go to Gaussian blur and blend mode, darker color and keep the preserve alpha on. And if you turn this up, what you get is you can either use it as a kind of painterly uh, picture, this of turning up a picture into a painting, or you can use the fact that it flattens off colors. So you can see areas like this, which are just kind of flattened off. And you can use, adjust with opacity to find the right 
amount of effect here because it's taking the darker color in other words a lot of the lines here are darker so it's preserving those which is how that is working and the last one is just to add text so if i put some text in here and say something like that and at the moment it overlays everything but it, if i then change this here and say the blend mode for this layer is darker color and then in here i change the color of this you can see the way that this is when it gets sort of in the middle there it, it overlaps some things and not other things so i can say bring it down here and now i can move this around and see it some of it appears and some of it doesn't so it gives it that sort of interacting with the environment type of effect. You can make it disappear or reappear and you can give it different colors and so on and the different colors will have a different interaction because of that effect. So there we go a number of different ways, I think it's about five ways of using the darker color blend mode. Thank you very much for watching.